Hey Muramu and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all well, I hope you're all keeping amazing. So finally I am able to do that review that I had planning to do for so long and I am so excited about it and I'm talking about the one and only um, Makeup Revolution uh, or Revolution um, Carmi uh, Palette Kiss of Fire and I'm doing a review because I was anticipating so long for that I was expecting Carmi because I am a big fan of Carmi anyway I was expecting for him to drop a palette because he you know is so amazing and he's so good that you would think that he would create something with Makeup Revolution since he does praise so much Makeup Revolution, he's familiar with them, you know, and uh, finally it happened and of course I couldn't wait not to get my hands on it because I do like him so much and uh, it did happen and I'm so, so, so excited to review this palette. I'm going to keep it as much as objective as I can because I do like him, like I said, but I will say it based on uh, how much I use the palette and if it performs or not and I will tell you a little bit about it, the palette so let's keep on going the first thing I'm gonna tell you is if it actually like of course it's from Makeup Revolution it's not going to break your bank it costs only 12 euro or 10 pounds and you can really easily access it from the Revolution uh, site uh, I think that it is on drugstore as well but I'm not 100% sure. I will have to leave uh, links down below where you can find the palette. But um, the palette is amazing. Now what happened was I was supposed to review it I think two weeks ago. But the palette came and it was broken and I was so devastated because I really wanted to use the palette. I really wanted to review the palette for you and you know all these things. But the palette came broken so the Revolution team were so amazing they actually get back to me immediately and they said to me listen just send a message to the uh, team and they will come back to you and uh, Karmi actually um, comment on me and he said you know if anything you let me know and I'll, I'll try to talk to them or whatever you know he reached out to me which is that's why he's so amazing but anyway um finally they sent me another palette so um that's that i got the palette last week and i start using it because i really wanted to do a review about it and i wanted to actually play with the palette so i can give you a little bit about whether it performs or not so uh without any further ado let's go on the palette the outside of the palette and i kept the box just for you babes um it looks like this it's a plastic box i'd say but i do like that it has all this little glitter it's black and it has a glitter it has carmi's um initials and it has a little heart it says kiss of fire and it says 10 eyeshadows and two highlighters so you know exactly what you get you get 10 eyeshadows and two highlighters and i'm going to show you the palette from inside and on the back it's carmi's picture um it has uh, the palette or the way the palette looks from the inside and here it has um in the instagram of carmi's and the youtube channel of carmi's and then it has all the ingredients so i really love when a palette has ingredients on the back because like that i know exactly what i'm getting and what exactly it's in the palette because like some people would have a problem with me mica some people have a problem with talc some people have this some people have that so once you have the ingredients you can go google it and you know exactly what's in the palette if something affects you or not some people have sensitive skin so you know you can really get hold that as a grant or whatever it is cruelty free and it's for 12 months now you know me i don't really hold that i don't really hold the palette for 12 months i might use it for more than 12 months i might use it for 24 year, months or whatever but it doesn't really matter so uh you get what you get so it's made in the uk as you can see on the like it says it in here that it's made in uk so let's go on uh, when you open the palette it looks like this so it's all really black as well it has Carmi's initials and it is a really nice um, plastic but it looks really uh, heavy and it doesn't look cheap or tacky it's like really expensive you know packaging and on the back again you have the ingredients and you have uh, that it is cruelty free and again the 12 months 
period. So once you open it, babes, okay, uh, the only thing that I will say is that once you close it, I find it really hard to open it, so I kind of have to, you know, try to push it up a little bit. But apart from that, maybe I have my obsession because the first one broke that I'm gonna break this as well, or that it's gonna break on its own, you know, things like that. So, yes, once you open it, Carmi, of course, put a mirror because he does say that he really likes palettes with mirrors. You have a massive mirror here that even if you don't have a mirror accessible to you at that specific moment, you can just do your makeup with the mirror over there because it's just a huge one. Then I like that he has the names on the protective film, but I would really like them if the names were on the actual palette because that way, I mean, I usually get rid of the protective films because I find them extremely annoying opening the palette and have to take this off all the time and, you know, uh, keep it on to see what exactly the eyeshadow name is. So I would really like it if it has the names underneath or something like that. But get past that, those two are the highlighters and then we have the 10 eyeshadows. Now, <clears throat> there are... Um, there are only four mattes and then the rest uh, six are shimmers. Uh, I know what you're gonna say, why so many shimmers and why only four mattes? Well, I think that if you do uh, check Carmi's uh, video, he explains exactly why he put only four mattes and why he put six shimmers and why he put these two highlighters. I'm not gonna go through that because that's his palette. Um, he explained it much better. He explains the names of the palette and why he picked these names. Uh, I actually, I was obsessed with the colors, especially this orange calls my name, that yellow, the red, uh, it's always good to have a black for any occasion. And then the purple is amazing, the blue here is just wow. And then these two colors are for more like subtle look or not. But to be honest, I have one of these eyeshadows over here, my, my uh, entire eyelid, and my god, it stayed there. For, I have it since uh, 9 o'clock today, and the time now is 7 o'clock, and it's still popping and flopping, and I didn't even put setting spray, I didn't put anything. Oh my god, oh my god, guys. That's what I mean, that his palette is to die for. Now, I'm gonna swatch for you the two highlights, okay? That's the first highlight, which to me, it looks like kind of a duochrome, but you can understand now what I mean. That's the highlight over here. And I think it is really nice for both the dark skin colors and the light skin colors. I don't know how he did it, but he did. And I'm gonna swatch for you this color over here, which is an amazing, amazing gold. I love this gold, even if you want to bathe with it, I mean, you can't really see that well, but it glows so badly, I mean, if I put it all over my chest, or, you know, I want to put it as a highlighter, it's just gonna give me that glow that I want, that people will say, what is going on, you look so tanned, and that glow looks amazing on you, because it's, of course, the highlight that you really want. So, going on these colors over here, the mattes, I didn't try the black yet, I did try the orange, I did try the yellow, I did try the red, they all apply so well, they're so pigmented, I mean my god guys, okay, that's the orange, that's the yellow, the red, and the black, okay, so I'm gonna do for you some swatches, somewhere that you can see actually, that's the orange, that's the yellow, that's the red, and that's the black. Now, the black is not as black as you'd want it to be, but I mean, you can really get a really great black as it is. And personally, I don't want a black that's gonna be really dark, especially for summer, summer? Especially for summer, because I don't really want something that, the minute I put it on, it's gonna be so dark that I won't be even be able to blend it out, I won't be able to do anything with it. So, I mean, at one perspective, if you do want a really, really black, black, black eyeshadow, this is not the black eyeshadow that you would love to get, okay? But if it is something that you want to build it gradually and enjoy, that black is for you. But personally, I think that the black shouldn't be really, really black because then you won't be able to work on it, you won't be able to blend it as great as if you put one swipe and 
you, you're damned, you know what I mean? So the next two colors are these two simmers that they are absolutely stunning, okay? They do look alike. When you see them, you say, hmm, I think that they're both kind of pinks and they do kind of look alike. One is darker, one is not. But once you swatch it, this is a, the lightest one and this is the darkest one, okay? So they do look, this kind of looks a bit more lighter, but you can put it on the uh, inner corner of your eye, you can put it for your brow bone, you can put it anywhere you want, you can even put it as a highlight. I think that people could put that as a highlight too. Nobody would really notice if that's a highlight or if that's an eyeshadow, but it is so beautiful when you do a hello eye or when you do um, a look and you just want to bathe with a um, you know, shimmer on your uh, under eye area or your lid area or anywhere you want it. I mean, it is a color stunning. And like I said, it stayed there for so many hours that it's unbelievable. Um, the other, now, these two colors over here, this is a bit more of a purple, I could say, but it's more of a lighter purple and that's a darker purple. Now, as you all know, the purples are really hard to make, okay? This purple over here, it is amazing. And this light purple, oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Even when you apply them on your lid, they just go so well. You can blend them like a charm. I haven't, I haven't got a purple like this before. I, I haven't. That I could just put a little bit and start blending in and it won't crease to me, it won't be, it won't look like a mess. I won't be able to fix it and all this stuff because I got the NYX palette and that purple in that palette was disaster. It kept on blending and once I blended out, that was it. It was disappearing. With this purple over here, it just stays there and it's so vibrant that, oh my God, I just, I just love it. And even if you want, you can put like that purple over here with that purple okay and then you can put some yellow in there and it looks amazing i did a look i'm gonna share it on twitter and you can see it but i mean oh my god and the last two colors that blue over here oh my god and that reddish color or copper whatever you want to call it i'm not good with colors okay so please uh, so this is it and that's the blue oh my god guys can you see this blue Oh my goodness, this color over here is just my favorite, favorite color. I mean, when I put it in the morning, I can wear it in the morning, I can wear it in the afternoon, I can wear it at night time, I can wear it anytime I want it. The copper is a good color. I have other colors like that. It didn't really scream for my name or anything. But when I saw that blue and I was like, oh, you know, it might not apply well because the blues are kind of hard you know, colors, but the minute I put it on, oh my God, guys, it's so vibrant, it's so amazing, and like the rest of the, um, the rest of the shimmers, it did stay forever. I mean, oh my God, this palette is amazing. It's not because Carmi made this palette with Makeup Revolution, it's not that. It's a palette that you could use for summer. The possibilities and the looks that you can make are endless, and I know that that blue, you might say, okay, I want it as a matte, but trust me guys, as a simmer, it is it's popping more and you would use it more. So I think that this palette overall covers a lot of colors. It is summer, you're gonna use loads of colors anyway for summer. And it is something that you would enjoy because it's very pigmented and very easy to use and very blendable. So overall, I'd say, does it worth a 12 euro? Oh my god, guys, if I could go, I would buy it again. I mean, if that palette, uh, if I ran out of that palette at, at some point, I would go and buy it again. Because even though it's only 12 euro, it is much better than palettes that cost 40 euro and 50 euro and 60 euro. I'm telling you, this palette over here is amazing. If you don't have it, go try it. It's only 12 euro that you're gonna lose from your life for 10 pounds. And if you do not like it, come back to me, give me thumbs down. Do whatever you want, you can come back and, you know, <laughs> curse me. But I'm telling you that if you get this palette, you will love it. I loved it, I use it every day. I do looks, I, I can find looks that I can do every day. Whether they're subtle or not, I can do things for every day. 
and I'm loving it. So that's it you guys, that was my review. What do you think? If you have the palette, let me know what is your thoughts about it. If you don't have the palette, I would say go give it a go and try it out. And uh, trust me guys, this palette was, I tried to do that review as objective as I can. I wasn't really, uh, you know me, by now I hope that you know me that I wouldn't give a review, a good review, if the product was not good. I would say to you from the bottom of my card whether that was good or not. So that's it you guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy my video, don't forget to give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos because I have loads of good ideas that we're gonna go through together. So that's it, I'll see you again on my next video babes. Love you!